Afternoon YouTube, it's your boy Leon Numson Kudu. Welcome to my channel. I'm also talk about Krypton episode two. I'm really enjoying the hell out of this show. Like, yo, I'm geeking the hell out. I'm knowing more about Superman's, you know, home planet as a whole, because he did leave the planet as a kid. And with Supergirl, you kinda getting some of Krypton's lore. You know, like how religious they are. Like I didn't no, Krypton was that religious until Supergirl, and now the show is referring that thought, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, this show is fantastic. The production design for the show, first of all, they went hard. It's, you know, like, this show feels like a fanboy's dream, if you understand what I'm saying. Like, everything you would want from this show is in the show. You have time travel, the laws of physics. You have smart people overcoming obstacles. You have people who are underestimated, the underdogs. You know, step up, be generals, be reclaim the house of L. You know, like a lot of things are stacked against people, and you want them to overcome them, like any classic comic book superhero story. The house of L is very important in the story. I mean, like, the symbol in itself shows up so many times. Like, so many times. And I like it. I like Henry Cavill's House of L symbol, and that's the one they chose to use. Like I said, the show is shockingly so religious. Because I didn't know Krypton was this religious before Supergirl, but this one referred it. And the whole many gods face... But the important God, why does the important God's face happen to be at the end? Or oh, that was just subjective. And House of Vex seems underhanded. Like something is up with House of Vex. Like if the main dude, I don't know his name yet, if he really knows that Brainiac is coming, why is he hiding? I understand he's not trying to scare people. He's, tr he's not trying to change Krypton's way of life, but th that's your life, you know what I'm saying? You could die out of this. You'd rather keep this secret than die, than live in a world where people are not so religious. I mean, like, the unranked people already, I don't feel like they feel religion because I don't hear them talk about religion once they just people living life believing in other people you know what I'm saying then we gotta go to the main character the man the face the legend I really like his character development how he didn't just agree to Adam Strange as soon as like episode one made it seem like he just agreed to it but he needed convincing and he he got convinced no matter how many people kind of told him the truth he still needed convincing and he got the truth and hopefully now the story would develop more we're gonna see more brainiac hopefully soon then we gotta talk about nissa also from house vex yo she's underhanded yo i thought she was a nice person when she did that you know, gesture for him. But nah, fam. Nah, fam. Another point I want to talk about in this episode is how Zod. Like, somebody needs to explain to me how these fractions work. You know? Like, can anybody be how Zod? Or is it like a bloodline thing since they kind of are made in the cry chamber? Or... Like the cry chamber chooses whose house are is it that deep like if you know please help me out and that showdown in house of Zod where she kind of took like i said the underdog you know rising up and taking charge i really like that type of story i mean let's talk about the money they put in the show like i'm excited for titans yo like while we wait for Aquaman, we got some great television. Like, 
great television like they went all out for this and i'm so happy like episode two i legit give episode two an eight out of ten it was like the pilot episode was a great build-up but this one was an even better one because you saw nissa and zed get closer because they were paratide and stuff then you also saw the zard family i forgot her name but her and her chosen person get closer like you could see why they work for each other but also see why they wouldn't because they don't really care for each other they just want to use each other at the end but it seems like the the zard girl the guy who's chosen with the scars and all that oh it seems like he's generally interested in her but she you know likes the main dude i keep forgetting his name but i say it anyway but anyway yeah give it an eight out of ten i'm excited for the rest of the show deuces <laughs>